<laughs> Khalil Al Jadaili is no stranger to the open water. The 17 year old from Gaza lost both his legs during Israel's military offensive last year. But since then, he has discovered a new passion scuba diving. The Paddy certified double amputee was visiting Dubai to work with instructors from the Pavilion Dive Center at Jumeirah Beach Hotel. They are learning how best to work with physically challenged and special needs divers. The training involves equipping themselves with the skills to teach children with disabilities, including blind divers. You can have people to feel how it is to be a disabled person, you know. One thing is uh, just move around with the hands and swim and do all that. But try to be a blind person. Got some towels on your left. Course organizers say the most important part of the training is to understand what it's like for a physically challenged person to be in the water. And that meant diving with blacked out goggles, relying completely on their dive buddy. When you're down there, you've got somebody leading you, and all you can feel is the flow of the water going around you, and the noise is all around you. It's just it totally different to what you're used to. You become blind underwater, you, all of a sudden you hear so much more, and you can feel so much more, which you didn't realize after hundreds of dives. It made you really aware and alert of the things that you just take for granted. There are close to 100 special needs centres across the Emirates, but as yet, scuba diving hasn't been an accessible activity for children. The dive centre wants to encourage them to take part without feeling awkward or uncomfortable. It's important to have a course like this within our local community because currently there's no diving facilities that uh, are available to any of the, the disabled community over here. And uh, the reason why we're doing this is to create uh, a sense of inclusion rather than exclusion. With these new skills, the diving instructors will try to draw in people with their free open days set to begin soon. And just as they helped Khalil develop his newfound skill, they hope they can reach out to others closer to home in the Emirates. Ashraf Helmi, Inside the National.